That's right, friends. The Marvel MCU that we used to know is no more. It is gone. It is finished. And it seems like they're never going to learn. I would assume that none of you have been paying attention to the MCU, if some of you have, but the majority of the world is not paying attention to the MCU because the Marvels just bombed. The Marvels will struggle to break $100 million on a $280 or $70 million budget. So what we have here is a very disturbing trend in the force. I mean, it's obvious. Disney has Disneyfied everything. We had an amazing run, a beautiful 10 years of the MCU, created a lot of fans. We're, we're all in it because we, we love that Marvel. But now it's just, it's all over, baby. Now that Disney Plus is out there and it's just not doing anything for anybody anymore. So I have some evidence as to why Marvel is not listening. But if you think about the last couple movies, we had... Ant-Man and Quantumania, which was not good. Doctor Strange and the um, Multiverse of Madness was not good. You know, it was it was better than most, but it was not good. The only thing that we got that was good was Guardians of the Galaxy 3, which is from a director who no longer works for the company. So that's not good either. So let's take a look. What are the giant mistakes Marvel's making right now? We can see them obviously taking place. First, Hollywood Reporter, Avengers Kang Dynasty enlists Loki creator Michael Waldron. Michael Waldron, the, also writing Avengers Secret Wars. I would say anyone who has anything that is connected to the multiverse saga or phase whatever the hell we're in, forget about it. Get rid of them, throw them to the curb, start over. Burned to the ground. First of all, Loki sucks. Some people like Loki. I get it. It's kind of like a Doctor Who thing. But ultimately, if you think about what you saw in Loki Season 2, none of it matters except for the last episode. And who is the antagonist of that show? Please tell me, because I don't recall there being any villains whatsoever and anybody interesting. And if you tell me Kang, Kang did exactly nothing. You know, we got a mildly interesting interpretation of whatever Kang can be, but Kang's done anyway because Jonathan Majors is toast. He also wrote Doctor Strange. He wrote Loki and he wrote Doctor Strange the Multiverse of Madness. No thank you. No thank you. I would pass, please. That and this is after they already fired the director, Destin Daniel Cretton, and they fired the writer. Um, Jeff Loveness. So they're reshuffling, but they're reshuffling with scraps. They should just, d no, don't write, don't, get rid of Michael Waldron. You don't want him around. In fact, we'll come back to him because we're going to look at what he has to do. What else do we have to look forward to? Oh, look, it's the first look of Agatha, the Darkhold Diaries, the thing that's been retitled, I don't know, five or six times now we're definitely on it was like the agatha cov the coven of whatever coven of chaos you had uh i don't know, all sorts of stupid stuff but not who cares it, it if disney plus was doing better and you want to do like a little six episodes because she's a fun little character fine but this is all we have to look forward to is katherine han really I guarantee you no one's going to watch this. No one's going to watch this. Sorry. Um, I mean, I will because I have to review it. But other than that, nope. And, and then, oh, there's another rumor out there that they're interested in doing a Scarlet Witch movie. And who knows if this is real. This could just be a rumor, but I will show you why this is a mistake if they decide to do it and why it fits the mistake of other Marvel mistakes. Rumor, Marvel Studios interested in doing Scarlet Witch film. I was under the impression that she was dead. Don't bring her back. She was a villain who wasn't particularly interesting other than the fact that she used to be an Avenger. 
and then decided to enslave a bunch of people in a city, and then decided to kill a whole bunch of monks because she wanted to steal some MacGuffin girl who is now Dancing with the Stars. So, not real thrilled about that. America Chavez. Did you remember her name? Because most people don't. So anyway, uh, they're talking about doing this, and guess who they're considering to direct it? Jack Schaefer. Never heard of him? Her? Whoever? Whatever? That's because you wouldn't know anything they've ever directed. Because this is what Marvel is doing. Taking untested talent and plugging them into the Marvel machine and letting them go with it. So here you have the writer of Black Widow, which was pretty terrible. That was a 6.7 by IMDb standards. Still terrible. WandaVision, which is the greatest thing they've ever... Head writer, 7.9. So still not fantastic. Never heard Olaf's Frozen Adventure. A short. You know what they directed? Would you like to see what they directed? Um, Something in 2011. A short called Mr. Stash. Does that seem like somebody who should be handling, I don't know, a $200 million budget? Seems like a bad idea to me. So let's let's take a look at who else has done things, because this is always interesting to me. Let's look at the Marvels. And again, I will tell you that Marvel has a giant... They, whatever they're doing, it's, it's foolishness. Anytime you could work, that would be great. Thank you, IMDB, for making this so much easier for me. The Marvels. So in case you didn't know who directed that, I think it's Nia DaCosta. What has Nia DaCosta done? Guess what? She directed exactly one feature film. And um, I just, you need to prove yourself before you can direct something that has a $200 million budget. She did Candyman, which had a $30 million budget which was pretty terrible. It got a 5.9. It did worse than the Marvels. And then she directed a podcast series. That doesn't count. <laughs> that is not experience. You are not allowed to just, that's what you wrote, is that. That's all you wrote was the Marvels and Candyman. Don't get me wrong, $30 million budget, I'm willing to take a risk. I think that's okay, Give her another $30 million budget. Do not give her a $20 million budget, let her fail, and then blame her for failing. That does not seem very fair. So let's just look up Michael Waldron. Why can we hate on Michael Waldron? My word, IMDb is slow. Why can we hate on Michael Waldron? Let's see if I can get it to agree with me here. Not Michael Fassbender. Michael Waldron. Producer, here we go. Here's the guy. My bucket's leaking. Huh? Uh, there we go. Let's take a look. What has he done? He won one primetime Emmy, which he does not deserve. Rick and Morty guy. Shocker. He's a Rick and Morty guy. And he was on Thor 11 Thunder. Do you think anyone needs to... Do you want anyone associated with Thor 11 Thunder? I don't. What did he write before that? Rick and Morty. Congratulations. He did one episode of Rick and Morty. Thanks, buddy. He wrote Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. He wrote nothing that you would know of. Loki. Shorts. Nothing of any substance. Why would you give this person... Why would you make him in charge of two... $200 million movies? Why would you keep making him in charge of two Avengers movies to write them? Why would you do that? Why does that make sense? Do you think Loki was a good enough success to be like, yeah, you can do it, dude. You're the best. You're amazing. So my point is, is Marvel has learned nothing. They keep sending amateurs to go and do things. For what reason? I guess they're cheap. But then you're still spending $200 million, $250, $280 million on movies. 
because you have to reshoot all of them. You have to rewrite them. You have to fire writers. Like, what is going on? Ugh. Anybody associated with Love and Thunder. Not to mention my last piece. They hired Taika Waititi, great indie film director. Took Had an interesting take on Thor Ragnarok. Didn't quite... I, I don't think it's as good as people think it is. He only took Thor because he was poor. Is that who you want directing your movies? It's like, yeah. I just had a second child with a different wife than I have now. Real smart guy. He's like... I I sort of like my whole plan for my career as an auteur. I, you know, he's just a, a smack ass. Like, this guy is just a, he's just a clown. And clearly people don't like working with him that much. So, again, just pointing out there, Marvel has no... They're, ne- they're not going to learn. They're going to keep putting out schlock. They're going to keep putting out junk. We're going to keep hating it. Unfortunately, that's a thing. So... Let me know what you think. Am I wrong? Have I misdiagnosed this? I don't think I have. But please take a look for yourself. Let me know what you think. I would be happy to have a dialogue with you. Join us. We have memberships. We have super chats. We have all sorts of fun stuff. Please support the channel as we move on to our next projects. We have more comic sketches we'd like to work on. But we need your support. And you can also check out for free to you our podcast. It is live streamed here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Friday nights Eastern Standard Time. Or you can also join us on iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, all those great places and more. But as for myself, I'm going to learn something and go on to the next one.